one and two record ERA just under five for Paul Mahalam. And a day after his 33rd birthday, Ryan Dempster gets set to work. And the 1 0 pitch and a ground ball into right for a base hit. So the first base runner of the night is Jeff Baker. Ground ball to short. Baker was running, so Sedania will have to throw to first, and he gets the L. Ball four. It gets away briefly from Domit, but Baker has to hold. Out into center. This is Ryan Church, and he'll make the catch. And there are some issues to deal with, especially in the outfield here. A little notch, the Bermuda Triangle. LaRoche really gets a hold of one deep to left, and that will go just under that second deck. Well, we saw his brother Adam have a big day on Thursday against the Cubs at Wrigley Field, and Andy stays hot. He missed a little time. 2 2 to the switch hitting Dome and a swing and a foul tip for a strikeout. Wow. As Jones takes the walk. Ground ball backhanded neatly by D. Lee. He'll step on first and the inning is over. Here's a pitch and another walk. So Gio has now walked 20 times on the season. And a base hit. Well struck by Dempster as he rolls it into left. Soto stops at second. Maybe a two out rally starting. <laughs> Can't seem to buy a win. That's off the glove of Mahalam and it'll cost him. The bases are loaded for Baker. Greenwood, Mississippi. There's a pop up right side. Iwamura calling off the right fielder Jones. And he puts it away. I don't worry too much about what everybody else is doing. Having said that, St. Louis continues to win. That's clubbed to straightaway center, but it'll be caught by Church. Another ball hit to center. Church drifting. Backpedaling onto the warning track to retire Marlon Bird. Obviously the reason uh, it was initiated by Tony La Russa was to try to get as many base runners on ahead of Mark McGuire as possible but uh, yeah, it just depends on your lineup. Something worth trying when you're not winning ball games. That's drilled deep to left it's hooking and it's near the pole and it's fair. Thought it was going to hook foul. It stayed fair, and Alfonso has tied it up. He has now homered in four straight games. You know what, Bob? I think he hit it so hard he didn't give it a chance to hook foul. <laughs> well, that was the only question. Here's a 3-1 to Nady, and he takes ball four. Center field church racing back out near the 399 and he hauls it in. Shows bunt. Deadens it and LaRoche will fire to Iwamura. That's sure, and that's Ryan Dempster as far as sacrifice bunts goes. Roller right to Iwamura. He gets Terrio. The Cubs tie it. 3 2 to Jones called strike three. Socked in the left for a two out single and only their second hit. A fly ball shallow right Baker gets out there quickly. And that ends the inning. 2 2 on Lee. The kick and the pitch. Ground ball. LaRoche can't get it on the dive. That's a base hit. And D. Lee is one for three. When his timing gets a little better at the plate, those are going to turn into long fly balls to deep left field, if you know what I mean. And there's two written all over it. Five, four. That's it. Marlon Bird simply hustled, ran hard, and they could not go around the horn. 
But that inability to turn the double play is something you never used to see when you played the Pirates. Bird runs and Domit never could make the exchange from glove to hand. And Yeah, when Jack Wilson and Freddie Sanchez were up the middle for the Pirates, they turned every double play. Strikeout number five for Demp. Ronnie is a, a great athlete. He's made some amazing plays defensively at short. We've seen him hit some home runs. He can run well. Just hasn't put it all together. He does reach here as Terrio's throw gets passed. That'll be an infield hit. For Cedeno. Gets down the butt. Dempster will pick it up and fire to Baker. And again, Cedeno runs well. A single should give them the lead, but that's not going to happen as Baker throws to lead. Soto has walked and fly to the warning track in center. Deep to center again. Ryan Church back on this one. God. He got all of that one and it's two to one Cubs. Gloria Franchi. So she gets a hundred chances at that power ball is Ryan Dempster. Putting together a nice night at the plate. Two for two now with a sack bump. Ground ball fair down the left field line. Dempster chugging around second. Terrio has a double. Dempster at third. All this happening with two outs. Their bullpen is 6 and 0, oh, but their ERA is almost 6. A liner right at Ronnie Cedeno to end the inning. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The 0 2 on the way to Jones. A ground ball. Terry was playing up the middle, and that'll be a hit for Jones. And Jones keeps the inning alive. And that's driven deep to right. And gone a home run. And Ryan Church has just given the Pirates the lead again. Village hustling, but Ramirez will throw him out. Oh, Bird got hit. He just runs right down to first. That one gets by. Bird better hurry. And actually, the carom, it bounced all the way over Doman. They walk Ramirez instead. Soriano's a strikeout candidate, so they are not running, and he does swing and miss. 96 for Meek. For a 2 2, and he struck him out. Back to back hits. Strikes out on a foul tip. The pitch to LaRoche. Base hit in the center. Sedania coming around. Bird fires to the plate. Did he get him? He did! Soto tagged him before he got to the plate. What a throw by Marlon Bird. The tag applied. Giovanni Soto in a position to block home plate as Ronnie Cedeno comes chugging down that third baseline. Ultimately, both players lean away from contact. I don't think Cedeno ever touched home plate, and I don't think Giovanni Soto ever tagged Ronnie Cedeno. And 
he went. Yep. Terrio could not hold up, and that'll end the Cubs eight. As Derek Lee takes it unassisted, we'll head to the ninth. Baker Lee and Bird do up. 3 2 Pirates. Veteran righty Octavio Dotel try to lock up the save. And he struck him out. Here, that one missed badly. Ball four. Ground ball to third, diving stop LaRoche from his knees, they can run, and that's it. Boy, LaRoche covered a lot of ground. He went way over into the hole between third and short to cut that one off. And it just does get it to his second baseman in time to get D. Lee. Last chance now to Ramos Ramirez. All the runs for both teams have come via the home run ball. Dolman trying to find some room and he does and that's it right up against the backstop and the Pirates hold on three to two as they take game one. The final score tonight Pittsburgh three the Cubs two.